Hello everybody, my name is Nils Krohn Mortensen and today I thought I would take you on a little tour of uh, animation paper. Of course what you see now is just a dummy, it's an image, but it'll tell you exactly what will be in animation paper when it's finished. So basically it's just this, it's quite simple. Uh, you have your big drawing area here, um, it's, the, it's the paper, it's the sheet, and then you have this divider and to your left you have the X sheet. The divider can be dragged left or right to um, expand or to, to simply hide the X sheet. You'll be able to work like this in a window or you can go full screen. Whatever you choose you can always zoom into the sheet and uh, work on details uh, or zoom out and see the whole picture. So this uh, thing here is the, the zoom tool. It, it's not normally there, there all the time, of course, but uh, if you press the set button, you can have this pop up wherever your pointer is, and you can quickly move your canvas around or rotate it or zoom in and out. And this, of course, happens very fast uh, in real time. At the bottom, you have your timeline. It marks your current frame and shows the range of frames you're currently working on. So in this case, it goes from frame 260 to 408. So uh, this bottom part, the bottom line down here shows the range and that is sort of magnified up here. That's what you work on currently. Of course, you'll be able to drag this little knob here and back and forth and, and uh, see your, your animation. And if you have any soundtrack loaded, uh, it will scrub the sound as well. No need for rendering or anything like that. It, it'll just show your frames instantly. If you have light table turned on, you'll be able to see a few frames back and a few frames forward, like in this example, and you can set it to uh, have hue shift. This makes it easier to distinguish uh, each frame. So here's the X sheet again. You can easily adjust the timing of keys and breakdowns by just dragging down the thumbnail like this down or up again uh, to make the key hold longer. So let's switch to the old PAP and I can show you the similar functions that we had there. This is the old plastic animation paper. I have this pick, sketchy pick walk cycle loaded. So if I want to uh, repeat a frame, insert a pause, I'll simply click here and just drag down. Very easy. Drag up again. I can take this track down, or maybe this just a single one, or whatever I need. So the X sheet is. Um, let me zoom in a little bit here. It's uh, it's displaying your layers. So in this example, we have three layers, but you can have as many as you want. Um, so each layer is one of these columns, and if you need to change the order of it, you can just drag left and right down here. Up here you can turn off and on layers as you wish and with this little icon you can link layers so if you add or remove any frames uh, on a layer the same will happen in the link layers so uh, it'll keep the same timing. Each layer is color coded that means that every drawing on that specific layer will be the same color uh, to help you visually separate each layer out. So let's say you're doing a rough pass, uh, animating your character, and then want to uh, clean it up. Then you uh, just add another layer, and you set it to, say, black, and you can just draw on top of your rough blue lines and uh, clean it up in black. And then you could have, uh, say, layout drawings or some background elements or something drawn in red. So the point is that if you want to change the color, you simply put this little uh, color tab and it will change the whole layer in an instant. When you're finally ready to color your animation, you can uh, just turn off your rough lines and um, add uh, what is called a paint layer, which is a full color layer to be able to do bucket fills and, and, uh, and painting. Over here you have your soundtrack and then you have your notes. And if you need more space, you can just drag this little divider again. When you're adding notes, it's uh, you simply just scribble them so you can write whatever you want or you can doodle stuff and, and uh, make marks uh, to plan what you're 
what you're doing with the animation. When you're animating and drawing your frames, you want to flip back and forth all the time. So you can do that um, in a few ways. You can use your cursor keys, or you can uh, use this button up here, which is um, the same as pressing the return button. It's called return flip. So you just uh, hold it down for a little while. It'll automatically fl flip a few frames back. And when you release it again, it will return to a current frame. You'll usually draw with one hand and uh, have your other hand on the on the keyboard, or you could use um, the mouse wheel in your left hand to flip back and forth as well. Another thing I'd like to show you is uh, cutouts, and it's best to show in, in the old pap here. So uh, let's see, uh, just draw around. You have this. Stamp it down again. Undo, undo, or you could. Uh, Scale it up or down, rotate it, see there, rotate again, and so on. Cutouts can be picked up as uh, several frames or the whole animation. So let's say, um, take this area again. Now we have it, have it picked up here. I can flip back and forth. This is still picked up as a cutout. And then I can, I can scale it, for instance, or maybe flip it horizontally. Scale it, and then I can, let's see, I want to stamp it down here. Like that. And then press escape to release this one. And we have a copy over there. Of course, you'll be able to uh, copy and paste whole frames. So you'll just mark a block of frames over here in the X sheet and copy and then paste in another location. Uh, and it'll show up as uh, clone frames like these ones. So if you draw on, on uh, the original frame, it will update on the clone frames. That means you can easily reuse frames, so when you need to clean them up or color them, you only need to do it once. Here's another small thing I'd like to show you. The drawing. I'm drawing in, in blue. Then I have this quick select menu, so uh, I'd like to, to change it to black. And I'm drawing black instead. And that can be selected very quickly and very easily. I'll say eraser and back to drawing again. So uh, keep in mind that the whole reason for uh, for doing animation paper is that it's going to be simple and fast and uh, effortless to work with. So even though you have a lot of layers, um, the light table turned on, you have zoomed in and rotated. It will still be fully responsive and just a dream to work with. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for listening.